Entrepreneur Tim Ferriss developed an ingenious email system when he found that he was not being as productive as he could possibly be. He didn't accept email as an unfortunate time suck that he had to do around the clock. So Ferriss decided to take action. He figured out that if he only checked his email twice per day and let everybody know his plan, his inbox would be more manageable and he would be more productive. The first step in his strategy was to analyze his inbox and see what hours of the day he got the most mail and what hours of the day it would be most effective and efficient to check his mail and respond to emails. This is the idea of determining your email peak hours. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple automation in Make that will analyze your peak hours every day and let you know what hours you get the most email so you can most efficiently manage your inbox. But first, my name is Andy O'Neill, and I help entrepreneurs like you add automation to their business. If you don't already have a Make account, there's an affiliate link in the description, and I would appreciate you using that because it just helps support the channel, and it doesn't cost you any extra to use that link. All right, so I'm in here in Make. I've created a new scenario, and we're going to jump in and start building this. And the first step we need to do is we need to add a Gmail step that will watch for new emails. So I'm going to type Gmail and I'm going to type watch emails. That is the trigger. And I've selected my connection here. If you don't have a connection and if you're new to make, you're going to click the add button and it's going to pop up the authentication box for you to connect make with your email account so they can talk to each other. And so you can build this automation. All right, next we need to pick the folder we're going to watch in Gmail. So I'm going to go click on this folder and I'm going to click all and we're going to select the all mail folder. We're going to do a simple filter and we're going to say all emails. So we're going to be watching all emails in the all mail folder. Basically, we're going to watch everything that's coming in. Now, the maximum number of results, this needs to be enough to fetch all of your emails for a 24 hour period. I'm just going to put a thousand because I don't get anywhere near a thousand emails. Uh, but you want to make sure that this is high enough to get all of your emails for the day and hit OK. It's going to ask us where to start looking. And so we can get some test data back to use. I'm going to say emails after a specific date. And I'm just going to go back to yesterday. So that'll bring me 24 hours worth of data. When we're done with this, we'll run this once a day, which will give you a full day's picture of when your peak hours are for email. So I'm going to click run once. And now it brought us back some data. If we scroll down here, we can see we have 33 emails that it fetched in the last 24 hours. All right, so next we need to add a numeric aggregator. And you can go right down here to tools and find that. Scroll down right here is a numeric aggregator. I'm going to put that there. And our source module is going to be first module, our trigger. We're going to aggregate and we're going to say count. And what we're going to do is we're going to format a date here. Actually, we're going to turn this on here and we're going to group by. We want to count these by hour of the day. So we're going to group the emails and it's going to count them by the hour we select. So we're going to format this format date and we're going to map the date here. So all you have to do is make sure your cursors are in the right place and click date and then a semicolon. And we're going to type a lowercase h and a close parenthesis. So this is going to format the times. So you can see here this one is January 27, 2024 at 2.37 p.m. So we're going to format this and this is going to end up being a two. So it's just taking the hour and then we're going to do a colon zero zero. We're just going to hard code that because we're going to make all of these match up by the hour. So some of these are going to match by two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. That just means they were sent in the two o'clock, three o'clock or four o'clock hour. And then we're going to add another format date. And we're going to add that date again and semicolon and a capital A. So this is going to give us our AM and PM. So this format date is going to say like if we have we have this 237 right here. So it's going to give us the two and we're going to just going to put a colon zero zero. So that's going to make it two o'clock. And then the A is going to tell it it's it's either AM or PM. In this case, it's PM. And then right down here, we want to count and we're just going to put a one in there. We're going to count the ones based on the hour of the day and that'll give us our analysis per hour. OK, next, we're going to add a repeater. So under tools, we're going to click repeater and we're going to say the initial value is one. And this is going to repeat 
this many times. So the results of the number of emails we got, it's going to repeat. And what this is going to do is we're going to use icons to be kind of our chart in our email. So we'll hit OK there. Next, we're going to put a text aggregator. And our source module is our repeater. And then our text is going to be an icon. So I'm going to put a envelope in there. We could put a hot pepper. We could put fire, whichever you want to put in there. I'm going to put an envelope in there. And so for each email, it's going to add that icon that many times. So it just gives a visual representation in our email of how many emails there were. All right. So I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to do another text aggregator. Let me save this. My source is going to be this number two module and the text we're going to put in here is we're going to put a paragraph tag because we're adding the different lines for our email and we're going to put our time here and then we're going to put our icons. All right, next we're going to send ourselves an email. So we're going to send an email. The two is going to be to me because I want to get the email for the analysis. And the subject is going to be email peak hours analysis for, and we're going to do format date now colon month, month slash day, day slash year, 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 year. So that's going to format that in our subject line. So we know what date this is for. Next, we're going to add our content paragraph tag below. And then we're going to hit enter and we're going to map our lines right there. So that's going to be a line for each time with our icons. And we're going to see what that looks like. Before we run this, I'm going to do a little cleanup. Going to rename watch emails, rename this emails per hour, email icons, lines for each hour. And we're going to send. Send email analysis. OK, so we will hit save here before we go any further. I'm going to schedule this just so I don't forget. We want to do this every day. And just so this makes the most sense, we're going to do this every day at midnight. So what it's going to do is it's going to go back 24 hours. And it's going to take start at midnight and go till midnight again. And so our analysis will our hours and our list will start from midnight and go till 11 p.m. So it'll make a little more sense than running it in the middle of the day and it might run from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. So just run it at midnight just for ease of readability when uh, this drops in your inbox. All right, I'm going to right click and choose where to start. And I'm going to say emails from after a specific date and I'm going to go yesterday and I'm going to go ahead and make this 12 a.m. Right, so we're going to get a little bit more of a day. We're going to get a day plus, but at least you'll see how it starts at midnight and goes through. All right, OK save and let's run this all right so we have we have data that came through we have 42 emails in that amount of time let's go take a look at the email we received okay so here's our email that we received and you can get an idea here of what this looks like uh, looks like 8 a.m is a uh, fairly busy hour of the day um, so is 10 and 11 so, you know, our biggest day, uh, biggest hour of the day is eight. So when we're doing our analysis for when we want to send our batched emails, you would look at this and decide what hours during the day might be best. So I think 8 a.m. would be a good time and maybe 4 p.m. It looks like we get several on the 10 and 11 hour uh, and and maybe maybe check those at 4 a.m. So I think I'm going to select my times based on this analysis. And this is just one day. I would run this a few days, at least a week to get an idea over a week what it looks like. I'm actually recording this on the weekend, so this is not an accurate representation of what I get during the week. But this is what your email would look like. And you can see exactly when your emails are coming in and when would be the best two times of your day to check your emails and respond to them in the way that Tim Ferriss does. Now that you've set up your analysis and you know exactly the best times to respond to email throughout the day, jump over to this video and I will show you how to automate that delivery to where your inbox stays empty until those times roll around and we will batch deliver those emails so you can maximize your productivity during the day. I'll see you then.